Hey guys, so two weeks ago, I was able to build this React app completely from scratch in an hour. And the backstory is basically two weeks ago on a Sunday night, I saw the coolest thing where this guy with no coding experience whatsoever was able to use Claude along with Riplet, along with some other AI features to completely build an app from scratch with just two screenshots. And being a software engineer myself, I found that to be super, super interesting. So I spent the rest of the Sunday night, which was about like one hour before I got tired, doing it myself. Let me quickly recap for you guys what he did in the video, as well as what I did. So the first part of this video basically is he shows the screenshot of this notes app built by this guy. I don't know his Twitter handle, but it seems like from his you know, his Twitter feed, he builds cool, interesting projects and he seems like a programmer. And basically that's what he uses as the mock-up for Claude. So essentially before he got started, he had an image which Claude could work off of to help him first mock up the app that he wants to build. I saw this part of the video and I did the exact same thing. Number two, I didn't really realize this because I used ChatGPT Plus previously and not really Claude, but when you're using Claude, it will do all of the TypeScript code for you, and then it will actually just render it on the website. So you don't need to render it in your IDE or even have it deployed. You can see exactly what the front end app looks like on Claude itself. I think this part is actually really exciting because a lot of times when you are developing something, a huge part of it that's like really annoying is if you are doing a React app, you have to actually like deploy to the front end to see exactly what your elements look like. And if you're doing an Android or Xcode project, you can certainly deploy it right away. The, uh, the application itself will deploy your app within the application. If you haven't used any IDEs or you don't have any experience in that matter, it's really nice for you to just be able to visualize it on Claude itself. Basically, I did exactly what he did, but I also added all of this into IntelliJ, which is the ID that I use. Number three, for his deployment, he ends up using Riplet, which is this like kind of one-click CD deployment platform where it can take your code and then it just like deploys it automatically for you. I felt like I really didn't need to use that. What I did was I just asked Claude or ChatGPT to help me debug and also figure out which packages I needed. And I essentially gave them the project structure through my IntelliJ, set it up with my GitHub and essentially deployed it into Vercel myself. All right, I'm currently about 20 minutes into the whole setup process. Instead of using Replit or some type of AI wrapper that helps you do all of the GitHub and backend sort of database setup, I'm gonna just do it by myself. Well, right now what I'm doing is I'm using ChatGPT to help me explain any, for example, Node.js versions that I'm supposed to be using or any dependencies that are not necessarily working with my setup. So this is what I have so far. And essentially, if I have any questions, I just ask ChatGPT to explain it to me. After less than one hour, I was able to get it set up. It's deployed and it works, yay. Now, none of the buttons really work right now because it's just a static page right now, but still very happy with this progress. I will continue working on this and hope to make some progress uh, as I continue on tonight. And it works, basically it is using some fake data. You can't really input data at the moment because I haven't really set that up. It doesn't look exactly like what the guy has in his video, but I kind of wanted to customize it a bit to make it look like the way sort of I wanted it. Okay, the last part is where he sets up all of the backend database where after you input the nodes, it gets saved into your app, things like that. I didn't really do this part. In fact, I didn't really finish the front end part where you do the note taking. So that's part of the reason why this video is two weeks later, because I told myself on that Sunday night that I was gonna do it tomorrow, but then it was Monday and I had work. And then I also, one second, I also bought this really big Pikachu from Costco. Also, also, if you saw my previous video, I was definitely messing around with the Meta Quest S3. One second. I was messing around with this thing. I also injured my neck playing basketball. I could barely get up. I didn't realize how useful your neck is for getting up and doing daily tasks. And finally, I made a team video game project on Unity where a guy's trying to escape islands and collects co coconuts. Finally, finally, it is almost Black Friday. So I've just been clicking and refreshing every single day on Red Flag deals to see things that I could potentially buy but not really use. Point is, is that it's completely not done. It's all bare bones. I just did the basic setup to just get it deployed. But that's not gonna stop me from showing you guys the GitHub repo if you guys wanna see it, I'll link that below, as well as the 
uh, app link, which I will also link below. Vercel is actually really nice. I used to use Netlify as well, but Vercel, you can basically just deploy it. I don't think I need to di dive into AWS to get some of the backend stuff done at this point. Here's my plan going forward and what I'm thinking. Okay, so step one. I have to finish my video game homework. The video game is almost done, but this is our final project. And I added some levels and item ring to be able to collect wood and coconuts. And basically the game, you get chased by AI characters as well, but I would love to have that game done for the end of this weekend. For the notes app, I think instead of it being just something that is typed and having like really nice categories, having it color coded, I don't really care about a lot of that stuff. What I do care about and something that I've always wanted is having a audio notes app where I can record my audio and then it could summarize for me what I said. And to be honest, I actually, one second. Okay. So I spent like eight, $900 on this Google Pixel phone. And one of the main reasons why I wanted to do that is because they have this recording app that is super nice where you can just record onto it and then it will get transcribed to text really, really easily. And apparently it has some AI features where it can tell if it's like you talking or somebody else talking and then it can transcribe it really well, better than what we have on our iPhone. However, I realized that after I bought this phone, I've used that app a total of two times. I've never really used it. And I think part of the reason is because the app is maybe not as sophisticated as I would like it to be. What I really want is a notes app where I can sort of say something and it will go through everything that I'm saying and summarize it for me so that it is something that I can like look back on and be like, oh, this is what I was thinking about at the time. And that's sort of the idea of what I wanna have for my notes app. So. Basically, I'm gonna make a plan for what the UI could potentially look like. And if you're interested in me making an app like this, please comment below and I can give you guys sort of um, my progress as I go along every single week building this audio notes app. Now, one thing that I think is particularly interesting is as long as you have really cool screenshots, that can kind of be the starting foundation for anything for you to build something with Claude. Essentially, you just have a cool screenshot, you put it on there, and then Claude can be like, okay, let me build like the front end of that, and you already have sort of your project going. So I think that really changes things in terms of how I want to brainstorm things. And definitely it does open up the like potential for me to do different projects. So I'm gonna spend some time, first of all, brainstorming and really thinking about what else I could potentially build and where I can draw inspiration through screenshots or through images of things and how the initial UI would look like. Before even brainstorming, of course, there's already things I would love to build long-term. I would love to build the old clubhouse back to the way it was during COVID, where it was a super amazing app where you could enter rooms and talk to like random people. Things. I would also love to build a real estate app where it can just give me average pricing for a community. It can give me an estimate score based on schools, based on shops based on if a house is like underpriced. And I think that could be super interesting. But those are sort of my initial ideas for apps that I would love to make. Anyways, if you guys are interested, we are heading into the December months and I actually do think I will have some time to invest in building these ideas, these side projects for myself. That being said, I do have a Claude Plus account or whatever their membership is called. It's super nice because you can have in, you can have different project folders as well, and each project folder will essentially be one of the side projects. And I'll still keep ChatGPT Plus for its advanced voice mode features. Another thing that I think is nice about ChatGPT is you have sort of unlimited uh, queries to its ChatGPT 4.0, whereas for Claude, um, you can kind of run out of credits. And basically, if you run out of credits, you have to wait for like four hours before you can uh, send something to the chat again. I was hoping to show you guys some more progress, but I'm just gonna make this video now. If you're interested in following up on this progress, click like, click subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.